What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna break down a rotational shot progression and go inside a real training session. So check it out. Everybody, what's up? It's Eric Johnson, and today we're going to go through uh, a training session with a really talented young guy, and this is Shinobu Hawk. And Shinobu came in from Virginia. This kid's a really great discus thrower, and he's working hard on his shot. But you, when you make that change and you go back and forth between the discus and shot, there's a couple of key changes that you want to make. And here you're going to see how we're really teaching them about the left side. So when we start doing the stand throw, this is a drill inside of our system that we call a squatted throw. So if you've ever come to a camp or you, if you become a subscriber, you'll learn more about that. And on a side note, be sure to check out the link for the system. Okay, so here again, we're showing them how critical it is to create the right path of the upper body into the finish and how you're going to sequence with the legs. So this is a drill that we talk about that's not um, for you know, distance, this is a orbit, radius, and sequence drill. So we're working on that stand. So the next phase in the training, what we do is we go to our wheels. Now, wheels are tricky. We call them half turns, 180s wheels. We've just always called them wheels. So, so the modified wheel, we're making sure that we set up, always we talk about alignment, and then we set up that chain reaction. So that shoulder issue that we we're working on in what we call pillar five, six, now we're gonna be addressing through the middle of the throw, which is pillar three, four, five, six. So some little adjustments, and this is the big thing that's causing a big problem, because if you noticed earlier, he was pulling around, and we're gonna watch, I'm gonna pause it here in a sec, and watch as he does this, as he goes through the throw, this was the habit that he's focused on. So he's close and he takes the arm out, but watch the shoulder pull back. You see how his shoulder's pulling way back and it's way back. So even, you know, once the shot's gone, but the, mom the momentum is really causing this, you know, over pull of the shoulder. And this is basically as he comes through the finish, right? The shoulder's pulling back. The shoulder needs to be able to, to square up so that he can like punch it. So this was kind of the thing that we're working on. You see again, this, this is the habit and this is what we were addressing all the way. So then we started to work on the full throw and then we're starting to create better connection as you just start to saw. So one of the things now, as we go into the full throw, we were talking about his sweep. And again, what we worked on with him was kind of addressing the, you know his specific issues so that's one of the things we do with the chain reaction we're teaching the throw and then we're also we have a system to break it down to identify those individual aspects so we were trying to control that sweep and that left arm now remember this is one of the things we talk about inside the system is how we're going to basically be able to uh, have that connection right it's a counterbalance so right here what we were trying to do is we started working from the very beginning and again in a throwing progression we're going to go work on the finish elements and we talked about the orbit and the radius and the shoulder path and so here we were trying to combine all that and so there are simple drills that we added it was something we do we call the shoulder stretch drill and it teaches you how to create the right path of the of the entry shoulder of this left shoulder so now as we started to put it together we were trying to control the sweep and have this a little bit more connected so this is what he started to do well the wrap goes early you see that that wrap early and this is one of the things and the super high elbow this is something that we would say is there are there are examples of elite throwers that kind of can get this elbow but they're going to have the left arm and the left leg in a very different position at this point with that elbow up and this is where you're actually seeing um like this this slight delay right and he, this guy's quick but you see that we want to see that left pulling a little bit more and this early rewrap kind of slows down that upper body rotation and that is something we were trying to fix and we'll just take a little time you're going to see here this is kind of the center point of the circle you can see how he's a little under rotated he gets a decent heel toe position but that shoulder path kind of pulls he was actually a little bit more squared up and trying to get this athlete to be more connected to the ground was really really important so the earlier progressions we're focusing on that and then as we go through the full throw we're trying to teach him to move in and the 
left arm and that sweep leg are a big, big part of that. So you can see we've got a couple of elements going on here. Sweep leg goes out. We, we already tried to create a little bit of correction, but you see right here, he kind of comes around. See that left arm when you look at it at this side? That's causing some deceleration of, of the rotation into the middle, and you need to be accelerating. So the wrap point needed to change. The arm needs to be able to open a little so sooner. And there's been throwers that have done this and have thrown very successfully, but we always kind of, our opinion is that that's the outlier, not the, the majority. And again, there's always outliers that have just different physical tools and abilities and styles that are gonna be more suited and help them be more successful. But in this case, this is creating a limitation. So a couple things to take away from this video. Um, when you look, so shout out to Shinobu, did a great job. Him, his dad, um, have been uh, TCR system members for a number of years. They flew out from Virginia, got in a couple of great days of training. They work with some great people back east as well. And, uh, you know, that's how this sport should work. You should always be trying to learn from as many people as you can. And so, but the takeaways here are what we were trying to clean up is a uh, clean up the sweep path it was almost too wide and too high so that was an adjustment we we're trying to adjust this left arm from the start so you notice when we're going in this basic progression we're working on it at the finish working on it through the middle which is three four five six and then a full throw where we're putting together the entire throw and then it you know correcting that rewrap this part of the throw is creating a limitation which creates this a little pull around and jump up in the air you can get away with this a little bit more in the discus, but it's going to create some limitations there. But Shinobu's primarily a discus thrower, shot putter second. He's a really talented guy. He's doing a great job, always working hard. So we just wanted to kind of take you kind of behind the scenes, show you kind of how we worked through a basic progression and some of the things we were trying to correct. And that hopefully if you notice that yourself is doing maybe almost too wide and watching this arm, right, instead of allowing it to open more to create better rotation it kind of creates this type of shift motion and that's always going to create a limitation and the reaction is going to be to jump and we want the reaction to be able to drive into the block out around so you can put more force into the shot without pulling back or throwing in the air so remember you can see if you're right here how do i dominate uh Aaron Donald of the Rams, I put him on a skateboard or have him jump in the air. And now when he tries to push against me, it's going to be, I'm going to be able to win. And I'm a skinny old guy. And that's how I can beat a hundred million dollar man. And this is how you're going to beat yourself. If you're up in the air, you can't put force against the shot. If it was more sequenced and he was on the ground longer, this is going to be a further throw. And these are all the things that we're trying to work on. So just a fast video, couple of tips. Hopefully that gave you guys some insights. Hopefully you enjoyed this format. If you do, comment below. Be sure to check out the Throwing Chain Reaction system and coaching options and all that good stuff in the links below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button, like, turn on notifications because that always helps us and we appreciate you guys. And comment and we will see you on the next video.